the recordings are started. Uh, welcome to go ahead, I'll be nice. So hi everyone, I'm Elvina and today I'm going to share a bit of my work in understanding how people spend their days. So before we get started, here's a bit intro about myself. I am currently a master's student at the University of Auckland studying data science and actually I've used R more frequently after I got to here, so I've got lots of things to learn. Anyway, let's get started. Here we're trying to understand how people spend their days and we can collect their activity data using wearable device. Um, the simplest device usually can measure how many steps you take, let's say in minutely basis, so it comes into a time series format. That means we can aggregate the data, let's say into hourly basis, and create a line plot like this. Here we can see that this person seems to be more active during the morning and afternoon, and there shouldn't be a problem dealing with this kind of data. And how if we have more people? Actually, we can do a similar approach. We can just aggregate the data, let's say, uh, in our basis and create a similar plot. Just superimpose them with different colors like this. Here we can compare the pattern of these two persons, it work, which seems a bit different. However, what if we have more data points with different dates? It, Actually, it doesn't sound good because our plots will be wider and it's more difficult to compare the pattern like this. Even more, it will be worse when the data are much more bigger. So what should we do? There must be a better way to deal with this. And fortunately, everyone, has, everyone lives in a similar cycle. We live in 24 hour a day and seven days a week. So that means we can create a new variable that describes the day and hour and use that as the x-axis. So we can create a tidier plot where everyone is, will have the same x-axis like this. So here we can plot as many data points as we have. And yeah, we can sort of see that most of the people here are mostly active during the day. And yeah. So thanks, Rain, we can solve the problem. Anyway, if we use a more sophisticated device, we can also identify whether someone is sitting, standing, or stepping based on their posture. And the data is also in time series format. So that means we can make, uh, identify the sequence of their activities and create a plot like this. It might not be the prettiest plot you'll see, but it sort of describes that these people seems to be spending their time mostly sitting or lying, but sometimes they stop and take some light intensity physical activities before they go back and sit. But in this plot, we can't really measure how many time is spent for each activity. So perhaps we want to stack each point together and group them based on their activity type, which leads us into a proportional bar plot like this. It is much cleaner than with the previous plot, and yeah, we still see that most of the people here are spending their time sitting or lying. But here we can see that a few people are slightly more physically active than the others. And we also notice that uh, these people here are not performing highly intense physical activities. So perhaps we want to combine these two categories as one and also to make the terms simpler let's just call the light intensity physical activities as standing and the high intensity one as stepping and yeah i also want to point out that actually we can view activities as a composition which sums up into a constant so let's say um, so sit the time we spend to sit stand and step each day spends a uh, sums up into 24 hours. So that means when I spend one more hour longer sitting, I have less time remaining to stand or step. So I can convert the failures into a proportion that sums up into 100%. And in this form, uh, we can create a three dimensional plot based on this proportion, like this. So here, each point uh, describes 
a person's overall activity during the day, the day or night. So let's just take this point as an example. Let's say it's Tom. So he roughly spends 80% of his time at night sitting or lying. And roughly 20% of his time is, is spent standing, while none, almost none of the time is spent stepping. And we observe a similar pattern of like Tom here and this in the other people, which is actually sensible because most of the people should be sleeping at night. And meanwhile, we observe more variation in the activities of these people during the day, where majority of the people seem to be spending the, more than 60% of their time sitting or lying, perhaps their couch potatoes. And just like what we observed in the previous proportion of our broad, a few people seem to be a bit more physically active than the others, which we also observe here. But in this plot, we can see how they are more different than the, the rest of the population. Perhaps these people take their pets for a walk in the day. So in this short journey, we have seen a few ways to deal with time series data. And we also, feel, we also get a new way, point of view to handle activity data as a composition. So yeah. I guess that's it. Thank you for listening. I hope you all learned something new from my short role. And don't forget to exercise. Thank you.